pacifiers, boys, and Botox. If you haven't already heard, a new study came out a few days ago talking about how the use of pacifiers affects emotional development in boys. Scientists from the University of Wisconsin-Madison were sitting around thinking about how Botox affects facial expressions. Oftentimes when people get Botox shots, they're unable to express certain emotions and then after a while uh, they start questioning why it is that their feelings don't match their facial expressions. And they say, well what about other times when emotional development is important? Like when you're an infant, how does you know interference in the face affect how you experience emotion? So they started looking at pacifiers and how it affects emotional development and they found that especially in boys, um, they tend to mimic their parents less. A lot of us, when we're developing, we learn emotion by mimicking our parents and now they're saying excessive use of pacifiers makes it really hard for us to do this because if you have something in your mouth that is comforting, you're more likely to keep sucking on that item instead of mimicking the facial expressions that your parents are making. And they said usually you have to feel the emotion and that is express the emotion in order to understand how it feels. Study upon study upon study has been done about how children all express the same emotion and, and blind kids and deaf kids still express the same emotions on their faces despite you know, not having the same experiences necessarily as someone who's not blind or someone who's not deaf. So there's something really interesting about emotions. And when you're unable to, ex to express those emotions, it affects your, your, your ability to empathize. Something to keep in mind, um, this was a survey study that was done, which means that the results were self-reported. So men who participated in this survey who received what they considered <laughs> excessive uh, pacifier use, scored low on basically perspective taking, which is um, part of you know, the empathy battery of tests. So it basically uh, tells you how, how you empathize. Anyway, there's plenty of reasons not to use a pacifier. I'm against the use of pacifier. Um, I'm not going to judge you if you use it, and I'm not going to try to convince you not to use it. But the reason why I'm against it is because um, it causes ear infections, and um, it also affects the way your teeth develop. And my family doctor insisted that I use one because he said it lowers the risks of SIDS. And, well, it doesn't actually lower the risks of SIDS. If you look at the studies, what they're finding are kids who are using pacifiers have a lower chance of suffering from SIDS. Now, when you kind of look at causes of SIDS, um, it's really, really arbitrary. And there are a lot of studies now saying that, you know, SIDS could be caused by chemicals in, you know, the cloth that is in the crib, um, from blankets, from clothing. Um, it's not necessarily... It's not necessarily from suffocation, which are some of the fears that people have. There's also other causes of SIDS. Sometimes I feel like SIDS is the result of an accident just due to parental neglect. And I don't want to offend anybody. I know sometimes things happen and there's just no explanation. And I understand that. Um, um, but sometimes there are cases where, for example, kids get suffocated because they're in a crib that was designed for an infant that isn't mobile. Um, and then parents put their kids in that crib and you shake the crib and the sides fall off and it hurts the child. Anyway, I just feel like SIDS encompasses so many injuries if you really look at it. And because it encompasses so many injuries, I think people are now scared of a whole mountain of situations that could happen. And <laughs> so then they put their kids in a pacifier when you know, what they're preventing is actually a minor thing. Anyway, my daughter doesn't use a pacifier and she's fine. And I've gotten some really funny old wives tales about what happens when you don't use a pacifier. Like someone told me that your kids will suck on their fingers. And if they suck on their fingers, the finger they suck on is going to be longer than the rest of their hands, which is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. My daughter doesn't suck on her fingers excessively. She tends to do it when she yeah. is hurt and she needs some comfort or she's really, really, really tired. I, I've seen other kids suck on their fingers excessively. She's not one of them. So I don't see why I really need a pacifier. Plus another thing is pediatricians say you should really limit the use of a pacifier. There are mixed reviews about <laughs> when to start using a binky. Um, from some of the books that I've read they say wait after the first six weeks. That way there's no nipple confusion if you're breastfeeding. 
Um, but there's other studies that say, you know, you can use it right off the bat just because it's very, very comforting to the baby. I would lean more towards not using it for the first six weeks um, just so there's no nipple confusion. And if you start it off right away, there could be attachment. And I've seen parents whose kids are like five years old and they're still on a binky. And that's a big no-no because that's when you start getting into the whole ear infection, dental problem thing. You actually should take your kids off of a binky um, when they start teething because that way it doesn't affect their teeth. So I told my husband about this study and he said, what difference does it make if boys are unable to express emotions? Um, boys are hunters. They don't need to express emotion. And, and he said emotions are illogical. And the thing is, it causes some kind of emotional confusion when you're older. Uh, same with the Botox people. You know, they're adults when they experience this. Let's say you're feeling really, really sad. You're like, I'm sad, yet... I physically don't feel sad. Those kinds of emotional problems are what they're talking about in this study. I just wanted to quickly run this down for you. The links are below if you want to read the study or the abstract or a summary of it. And that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Um, an inability to kind of feel... <laughs> Careful.